Hey guys, Johnny Up RX here. I just wanted to show off a new project that I finally just finished up here. You know the name of the game in these microcontrollers is smaller, smaller, smaller. Let's see how small we can get into these project boxes. And I'm getting getting there. One of the key features on this one I want to point out that I made that video about is on the ESP01 here. I'm using that four pin solder method to really get it close down to the uh, breadboard here. So once it's programmed, you only need those four pins, like I've said. Um, your VCC ground, chip pull down, and whichever GPIO you're going to use. In this case, I'm using GPIO 0. But I've got the LM117 voltage regulator here. So we've got a USB coming in with the 5 volts in the ground, and then dropping it to 3 volts with this guy here. But the 5 volt out on here is powering the motion sensor because it likes a nice clean 5 volts to run. And then we have the 3 volts out running to the ESP01s, VCC, and chip pull down. And then the data out from the motion sensor to the GPIO0 in on the ESP. And that's it. Drill a nice big fat hole on the other side of this guy here for the little globe on the motion sensor. Crazy glue it in there. I soldered the pins, uh, the jumpers on the pins for the motion sensor um, for some reason. I'm not sure why. I was trying to get really fancy. And I used a little bit of a silicone shrink wrap too on those guys. Um, you can see the burn marks from me trying to shrink it on there with a lighter. But this all wrapped up in this box snaps nice and it has been solid. Um, and I'm using the ST Anything libraries again so I can integrate this with SmartThings or Hubitat which I'm using now. The Hubitat is awesome. This integrates so easy with that and it is solid and everything runs locally. No more of depending on the cloud. If your internet drops, everything still runs like it should. So that's my latest project. Hope this helps you guys. Um, but the LM117, I know that's going old school for the voltage regulator, but it still works pretty good for me on these ESP01s. There are some fancier new uh, ways to, to, to drop that voltage down to 3.3. But I have a handful of these and they're still working well, so I keep using them. Hope everyone's good. Have a great day. Bye.